PowerPoint presentations are so boring, but here's how you spice it up on Zoom. Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing in my channel. I talk about everything to do with the office. And today I am still yet again in my virtual office. Being in this virtual environment, I've been doing a lot of these Zoom calls and I've been sitting through a lot of boring Zoom presentations. No offense to the people that are presenting to me, but uh, they could do a little bit more to spruce it up. Zoom came out with a really cool feature called virtual presentation backgrounds. I'm gonna show you how to spruce up your PowerPoint presentations to make them look a little bit more professional and way more engaging. So what you're seeing right now is recording right off of Zoom. I am in my Zoom platform. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to my share screen function. And from here, usually defaults to the basic where you have your sharing your desktop one, two, and so forth. But if you click on the advanced, this is where all the fun features seem to be hidden. So what we're gonna do is uh, click slides as a virtual background. You can see it's still in beta mode, but I've tested it and it works great. So once you click the slides as a virtual background, you're gonna click on share. And once we click on share, we're gonna open up a PowerPoint presentation. So I've got one over here that I've been giving. So let me open that up. It's gonna take a few seconds for it to load into our system. And once it loads, this is what it looks like. And look at this, I'm in my PowerPoint presentation. Now, why is this engaging and fun? Well, typically I've been sitting through my Zoom presentations and I've seen the person, the presenter kind of off to the side. You can't really see them because they're a small thumbnail. And I feel that it really detracts away from the presentation itself. Now, when I'm in this environment, check this out, I can move myself around. So now when I'm talking to you or when I'm doing a product presentation in this case, I can minimize myself. But here's the thing, I get to maintain my eye contact with the viewers, the viewers look at me. So it becomes a little bit more engaging instead of looking at a static slide, you're looking at something that's a little bit more dynamic. Now, if I wanna to go to the next slide, I just click on the next slide. And again, I can move myself around depending on where I'm talking about. So what I'm doing here is I'm guiding the user's eye to the area I want them to focus on and I can talk to them about the various points. Here, we're talking about our brand's value and visions, for example, so I can just go on and talk about this section over here and point out some important facts. Now, it takes a little bit of getting used to because when I point to my right, which is over here, it's actually pointing to the left on the screen. So you get what you mean. You gotta kind of know where your hands are and know where you're pointing this way or that way. So it takes a little bit of practice, but I think it's really valuable to have this tool because it just allows me to kind of be a little bit more fun, engaging, and best of all, it really helps the user look and focus on the presentation. Ultimately, isn't that what you want, is the user not to be distracted and to look at the presentation. So it's just a really neat way to make, it, make your presentations a lot more engaging. I'd really suggest doing that. So it's again, very quick and easy feature I want to show you because I was actually sitting through a presentation and somebody showed me how to use this and I was thoroughly impressed and I was super wowed by it. I know it's a small feature. And you know what, the other thing too that I really encourage you guys to do is get a green screen. Uh, behind me, I've got a fairly inexpensive green screen and you can see the quality of my background is a lot better. I'm actually lighting myself up with a ring light over here and I've got another softbox light over here lighting up my green screen right behind me and you can see it looks like I'm in that environment. And I find that's, again, a very important part just to look professional. I know we're seeing a lot of people's living rooms, offices, bedrooms even, um, but why not just go through the extra effort, get a little inexpensive green screen, put up your company logo in the back, maybe some pertinent information. And I tell you, I get a lot of compliments on my background here. I love my background and it makes me feel like I'm in a more pro professional setting. So give that a go. If you're not sure how to use your background, let me quickly show you. So in your Zoom settings, what you're gonna do is go to your video, click on choose virtual background. And when we go into our virtual background, of course you have all these fun backgrounds that you can choose. Uh, once you click on a background, of course it'll change your background to whatever setting you want. Um, in my case, I have a green screen and I'll tell you, it does work way better with my green screen and I've tested this out on various platforms. And I have to say that Zoom over all the other platforms I've tried out has the best green screen feature. So once you click on that, 
All you have to do is X out of it, and look, now I'm a beautiful, serene nature background. Depending on who I'm talking to, I might want to have this background or a corporate background, um, but I like to change it up just to, to mix things up a little bit and keep things a little bit exciting. So there you go, guys. A very Two very easy features to use the PowerPoint virtual backgrounds for your presentations to make your presentations a lot more engaging and fun. And of course, your virtual backgrounds using a green screen. This is something that I really encourage everybody to use because it's just a great way to change up your background and to make it look a little bit more professional depending on who you are talking to. So do me a favor, if you found this little video useful, please feel free to share this with your friends, family, and coworkers. And of course, by now, if you haven't done so already, what are you waiting for? Click on the subscribe button and make sure you tap on that bell so you can be notified of my video uploads. Thanks for, so much for watching this video on how to make your PowerPoint presentations a lot more engaging on Zoom. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you guys next time.